Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next war recap video. And this is the arranged war against Reddit Legacy. Was a great war, good job to both sides, pretty close. Uh, you can see here, they got one of our 10s three-starred and then left uh, one of our 10s one-starred and got Cotton Eye Joe, that I think he's a 9.5 three-starred, then all the 9s three-starred, and the 8s three-starred, obviously, because there were some 8s in this one, which is always fun. We'll see some attacks from them. And uh, as far as what we did, we got pretty much the same, except we were able to get the three star instead of the one star there, which made the difference. So we'll take a look at quite a few Town Hall 10 attacks, actually, and uh, a few Town Hall 8 attacks, and only one Town Hall 9 attack, just because you see it so much on the channel. Um, I want to mix it up. So we'll, we're focusing on Town Hall 10, Town Hall 8 this war, mainly Town Hall 10. So let's get started with number three, so close to being a three star. And this is a high level base, and you can see Thor's heroes, 3530. This is encouraging to see someone with these level troops coming at a anti three star base and pretty much getting the three star. Just a tiny, tiny few adjustments could have made the difference. Um, but it's very encouraging for me to see this at Town Hall 10. I think it's so close to being a, a balanced three star game uh, for the top war clans at least. Uh, just needs a little bit more help for the attacker. But anyway, Queen Walk uh, drops down the Rage. She burns through the CC troops pretty quickly. Um, the Rage lasts pretty long, so she's going to take out some of those point defense that are doing damage. Uh, the Quakes go down. That'll let in the Valks in just a moment. And uh, basically at Town Hall 10, what you're seeing is, as far as the ground attacks go, the Go Vaho that you'll see in a little bit more, basically a Queen Walk and then either a separate or a... Uh, kill squad that meets up with the queen where they enter the base with a bunch of valks and uh, sometimes you don't have to deal with the cc troops because a lot of times it's a lava hound and just bring a few wizards it'll take out the lava hound or it'll take out the balloon if it's in there and and the lava hound won't do any damage to the valks but right here has to deal with the cc troops with this queen because it was a dragon but the valks moved forward th so quickly under that rage they cleared out that entire core. Now, I don't think he healed them up, so they went down pretty quickly. They're not that tanky, but they got the job done. You can see they triggered a few bombs. This is the unlucky part. Uh, just hits that double set in a weird way and loses about almost half his hogs right there. If he, that didn't happen, this would have been a three-star. But um, people were putting double sets on the outside, which is smart. That's going to make it harder. That's why I think Town Hall 10 needs a bit of a buff because as soon as people learn that they can be three-starred by Valks and Hogs, they're going to start putting those giant bombs farther and farther out so the Valks can't trigger them when they go in for the Infernos, and that'll make it a little bit harder. And uh, I think somehow, some way, Supercell has to make it so those giant bombs maybe aren't going to be as much as a factor, and maybe we'll see people using the bowlers to do something, but so far, uh, I haven't seen how they'll be used. But anyway, it was a really good attack. You can see the queen made her way around, her healers do go down, and those last two defenses are up. He didn't really have anything to let his Valks out of the core. We'll go ahead and fast forward. Um, but very, very close. Good job to Thor. Very close uh, attack. So anyway, uh, we'll keep moving and take a look at a few more Town Hall 10s. All right, last wizard beaten on the wall, and there we go, 98%. So close. Anyway, uh, going on to number four, we have Rob. Bit of a lower Town Hall 10. These are the kind where you see that are expected to be three-starred almost in these arranged wars. Uh, this is kind of the goal, to get these three-starred. The one Thor attacked might have been a little bit farther beyond reach. Now, if we can start getting those three-starred, that's going to put us uh, above a lot of other clans. But these are kind of the standard. These are the bases with the level one Inferno Towers uh, that need to be three-starred. So we have Rob going in here with the Queen Walk, just letting the Queen on in. Uh, he doesn't have any Valks of his own, but I believe he has a CC full of Max Valks. So uh, he's doing you know similar Go Vaho and just uh, letting the Queen work her way in. Drops down the Rage. She'll get in here, start taking out these defenses. All very accessible. And uh, that one balloon comes out along with the Golem. So that's going to be a little bit of a time sink for her. Anyway, starts in at the bottom here with his own Golems. Uh, the Wizards is creating that funnel. Dropping down the Earthquakes, which you see pretty commonly, you know, jumps can work, but sometimes if you don't need the poisons, might as well bring the Earthquakes. Doesn't cost any more troop space or any more spell space if you don't use poisons. Uh, the Valks make their way in, and under that Rage, they move so quickly. They do die pretty fast without a heal, but they move through the base so quickly that uh, they can get a lot taken out before they go down. You can see they've triggered several giant bombs. Uh, the King goes through. It helps that he's pretty high level. He's taking out Teslas, 
uh, tanking for that Inferno Tower, which is big. Awesome freeze there. The freeze heal is a good combo for your hogs if you can find the, the spell space to do it with. Uh, because that allows the giant bomb not to completely wreck the hogs. The heal gets them back to full health. So by the time the giant bomb goes off, they're able to survive it, especially the level 6 hogs. Now they do start hitting these giant bombs in kind of a weird way. Uh, but the last few are going to make their way over. That golem is still tanking, has the wizards down for cleanup. Got to be, you know, cognizant of your cleanup, how it's going to go be done, because you only have that three minutes. So uh, not, not the easiest thing to do. But uh, anyway, gets the job done at Town Hall 10. You know, your hogs don't have to be left over at the end. You can see his are here. But somehow, some way, you have to have something left over to get the cleanup, preferably the queen or some wizards. But the hogs are also very good cleanup troops. Uh, but you want to have something more than just like some golems and some minions because cleanup is definitely an issue at Town Hall 10 right now. Uh, but has plenty of time to get it done. Awesome attack to Rob. We'll keep moving and taking a look at one more Town Hall 10. All right, so Cotton Eye Joe taken on uh, an even lower Town Hall 10. He is a pretty new Town Hall 10 himself. He only has the 27 king, the 30 queen, so his heroes are actually lower than mine. Uh, and uh, it looks like he has his troops somewhat maxed out. The free spell isn't maxed. His Lava Hound isn't, but I uh, got the Valks done at least, which is something I plan on doing. I think I'll make a video kind of on my upgrade plans once I get within a day or two of the uh, Town Hall 10 completion. But anyway, back to Cotton Eye Joe's attack. Drops down the Freeze and then the Rage. Just going to keep his troops moving through the base. Uh, they get through that Golem very quickly, get through the first Inferno. And like I said, without a heal, um, and oftentimes you can't use a heal because of the multi inferno. These Valks do go down pretty quickly, so you got to use the Rage or something. Um, the Haste, I guess, if you have a lot, maybe you don't need the extra damage, but got to get them moving through the base quickly because in the time they have, you need them to clear out quite a bit of the base. So they get in there, they clear out the core, works out great. The King is still up doing some tanking. Here come the Balloons, and I think this was an awesome attack because it mixed the uh, what's powerful at Town Hall 10, which is the uh, La Luna on the backside, but also the uh, Valks coming in at, up front, uh, and they get like I think th three or two of the air defenses at least. They get really in deep into the base, like deeper than the typical kill squad. So a uh, nice little marriage of these two strategies. That queen is barely alive. I mean, she is one little bomb will kill her at this point, but needed for cleanup because there is a little bit of cleanup left to do, and unfortunately doesn't have a wizard or something for that back uh, left side, which would have helped, but. Has the time to do it. We'll go ahead and fast forward. Good attack to Cotton Eye Joe. Getting the three star. Kind of using uh, the old fashioned Laloon with the new Valks that we've been seeing. So awesome attack. All right, we'll take a look at one Town Hall 9. And instead of showing you guys another Valk attack, which you know we see so much, I'm going to show a kind of a cool novel attack um, that you guys might like by Snip Alumni coming at this base with a Go Wipe. And it's not kind of the spam go wipe that we, you know you see from the farming clans and stuff or the less serious war clans i should say i don't really like the term farming clans because oftentimes they're not just doing the war for loot they're actually trying to win they just happen to use go wipe because they're not quite as serious about war um and it kind of has a negative stigma associated with it but anyway uh this is, this is a surgical go wipe and it's much more planned out Pekka's, you know, they have that stigma, like you, like I've said, and you see at Town Hall 9, it's like, oh, if you use a Pekka, you're, you know, a two-star, but they can be used effectively, and uh, against the right base, this dead zone base, which actually was run against us a few times, with, like, no no defenses in the middle, um, or nothing that can at least hurt the ground troops, these uh, bases allow themselves to be hit by these surgical go we or surgical go wipe attacks where you just bring a lot of golems, a lot of tankage, some wizards, and just kind of work your way around the base. He came in pretty light at the beginning. He still has two golems and a P.E.K.K.A. left to deploy. So the king is getting out in front, but that's fine. Still has the ability. The king kind of acts as a tank on his own right and comes in here with the golem, the next P.E.K.K.A., some wall breakers, letting everything on end, just kind of reinforcing as he works his way around the base, almost like surgical hogs, except with the golems and the wizards and the pekkas and all that the queen kind of goes off on her own here which is fine has the ability she's going to be okay she can take care of herself uh, that one tesla pops but she's going to get on it in just a moment next jump letting everything continue through and then that golem i think perfect timing want to be somewhat early so the golem gets the tanking out it gets out in front uh before the rest of the troops arrive has the jump to let everything keep moving forward and while they're all distracted on that golem 
Everything's going to hop into that compartment, get the Teslas and stuff, pop the Queen's ability. She'll help out, take out a few of these last few defenses, and that jump is still there for everything to keep moving. Uh, the Wizard's doing a great job and converging on that last little uh, island of defenses and trash buildings and whatnot. Uh, right there, that one Golem's going to get front and center stage. Uh, we'll get melted by that giant bomb, or the double set, but uh, I think there's like one more Golem or whatever. Still tanking out in front. Ton of wizards left up. Crush this base. We'll go ahead and fast forward. As these last few troops make their way around, uh, the mortar does a bit of damage to the wizards, but has so many troops left up. Just crushes it. Awesome attack the Snip alumni. Very fun to watch. And uh, that'll be the only Town Hall 9 we look at. Just because, like I said, we see it so much on the channel. Want to keep it mixed up. And uh, like I've said, whenever we have Town Hall 9s, or Town Hall 8s, I mean, I'm going to try to show as many as I can. And I only like showing the fresh hits because... To be honest, at Town Hall 8, if you know where everything is, it's a cakewalk. You can just, you know, walk through the base with hogs or dragons or whatever, Valks. Um, but it's the fresh hits where it really takes um, some planning and some skill. Because if you can get the 8s cleared out pretty quickly, you can use them to scout some Town Hall 9s, which frees up the Town Hall 9s. If they do better to hit Town Hall 10s, it kind of works its way up the, the Town Hall food chain, so to speak. So... Town Hall 8s are very important that they get 3 star on the first attack, and these guys did a very good job with their Town Hall 8 bases. Some of them took, you know, 2, even 3 attacks, which is crazy at Town Hall 8, but somehow, some way, they were able to soak up a bunch of attacks. Right here, we're looking at, uh, what is this, Kaj, Kajla, Kala, I'm not sure, the J and the L are kind of juxtaposed weirdly, Kajla, I guess, uh, taking on this base, and... Obviously a fresh hit, like I said, so it doesn't know where everything is, but using Valks helps because they're not quite as dependent on traps and stuff. Um, those archers can be tricky if you don't have a poison spell. Sometimes just put your tanks down, uh, especially those Valks. Those Valks will melt those archers. Probably didn't even need to waste time trying to kill it with the wizards. Maybe just drop a Valk or something in the, like, get them in a ball and drop a Valk in the middle because the Valk has some hit points. It can stand there for a moment and then take down uh, all those archers. But anyway, uh, Quakes go down, let everything open up. I think he used the level 5 Valks, which is awesome. You kind of have the option of level 5 Valks or level 6 Hogs. I think level 5 Valks are even better because um, they're just so tanky. You don't have to worry about the level 6 Hogs hitting a giant bomb or something. Uh, these Valks are just going to destroy a Town Hall 8 base. They are really not meant for this kind of low-level point defense. Uh, have too many hit points, to be honest, uh, as far as... As far as a Town Hall 8 goes, they should, I mean, they're so powerful. Comes in with the balloons, though, on the backside, and the hogs. Just kind of a nice mixture of everything. And the more you diversify the, your troops, the more uh, chance you have of nothing going down at once. It's kind of like investing. Diversify, and uh, you won't be hit by one hard double giant bomb set or whatever. It isn't investing. I don't know. A crash. Anyway, though, uh, works out awesome here. Like I said, uh, the balloons, the hogs, just all those different troops taking out different sections of the base. Go ahead and fast forward as this three star is wrapped up. Awesome attack. Uh, keep it up. Kajla, whatever. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> taking a look at 39, our last base, uh, which was also a fresh hit three star. Um, and it is done by Robbie. Coming in with kind of an old school hog attack. Just bringing a bunch of hogs. Comes in and uh, fishing for the giant bomb sets, especially with these low level point defense. Like these archer towers aren't even maxed out for Town Hall 8. Um, the wizard towers aren't. It's so important to get in there. Sacrifice hogs if you need to, but make sure you don't have your big group hit the double giant bomb set because it is in there somewhere and uh, you got to try to avoid it. But anyway, drops down the poison spell and. If you guys didn't notice, the troops are running out of the poison spell, so you got to keep them occupied. Uh, they're kind of bouncing in and out right here. It's kind of funny. Um, but you want to drop some barbs or some wizards, kind of like Robbie does, and make sure that they're in the poison spell, because eventually it will take them down. It's not any weaker. They just happen to try to run out of it. So got to be kind of a little tr tricky there, kind of slick with your troops. But you can get the job done. Just take some practice if nothing else. Anyway, though, comes in with the king. Uh, he's going to tank for all that point defense. So good use of the king there. Don't just use him for cleanup. Use him to tank as well. Then comes in with his hogs. Um, fishing for that double giant bomb set right there. Um, trying to get that wizard tower down. But even with the additional hogs, it doesn't go down. 
Uh, his troops do path away from it, though. And you can see here, they're just kind of at the mercy of whatever the double giant bombs that happens to be. They hit the single, so it only kills a few of them. A few of them will get back into that heel and just kind of working his way around the base. The Teslas pop with all the spring traps, but luckily doesn't hit them too hard. Um, that's a common thing. People put a Tesla farm and then a bunch of spring traps around it. Anyway, though, the hogs making their way through. I think that was the double set, but they were able to somehow not trigger the other one. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe there's a single bomb somewhere. I guess we'll find out in a moment if they, if they run over it again. But anyway, though, the hogs avoid that third giant bomb. Drops down the poison for like the king and the skellies or whatever was left up. And the wizards, obviously, for cleanup. Three minutes is not too bad for Town Hall 8. And uh, they do run out of time occasionally, but not nearly as bad as Town Hall 9. Certainly Town Hall 10. Um, so anyway, good job to Robbie. Hope you guys like the recap of this war. Good job to Reddit Legacy. And good job to the guys at One Hive. It was a fun war, I think, for both clans. So uh, maybe sometime in the future we can set something up with this clan or another Reddit clan or something. But anyway, we're also in a close war now, so stay tuned for coverage of that. I'll be uh, posting some videos as always. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.